Chapter 6 Then David mobilized 30,000 special troops. He led them to Be'ala of Judah to bring home the Ark of God, which bears the name of the Lord Almighty, who is enthroned between the cherubim. They placed the Ark of God on a new cart and brought it from the hillside home of Abinadab. Uzzah and Ohio, Abinadab's sons, were guiding the cart with the Ark of God on it, with Ohio walking in front. David and all the people of Israel were celebrating before the Lord with all their might, singing songs and playing all kinds of musical instruments, lyres, harps, tambourines, castanets, and cymbals. But when they arrived at the threshing floor of Nikon, the oxen stumbled, and Uzzah put out his hand to steady the Ark of God. Then the Lord's anger blazed out against Uzzah for doing this, and God struck him dead beside the Ark of God. David was angry because the Lord's anger had blazed out against Uzzah. He named that place Perez Uzzah, which means outbreak against Uzzah. It is still called that today. David was now afraid of the Lord and asked, How can I ever bring the Ark of the Lord back into my care? So David decided not to move the Ark of the Lord into the city of David. He took it instead to the home of Obed-Edom of Gath. The Ark of the Lord remained there with the family of Obed-Edom for three months, and the Lord blessed him and his entire household. Then King David was told, The Lord has blessed Obed-Edom's home and everything he has because of the Ark of God. So David went there and brought the Ark to the city of David with a great celebration. After the men who were carrying it had gone six steps, they stopped and waited so David could sacrifice an ox and a fattened calf. And David danced before the Lord with all his might, wearing a priestly tunic. So David and all Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with much shouting and blowing of trumpets. But as the ark of the Lord entered the city of David, Michal, the daughter of Saul, looked down from her window. When she saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, she was filled with contempt for him. The Ark of the Lord was placed inside the special tent that David had prepared for it, and David sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings to the Lord. When he had finished, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord Almighty. Then he gave a gift of food to every man and woman in Israel, a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins. Then everyone went home. When David returned home to bless his family, Michal came out to meet him and said, in disgust, how glorious the king of Israel looked today. He exposed himself to the servant girls like any indecent person might do. David retorted to Michal, I was dancing before the Lord who chose me above your father and his family. He appointed me as the leader of Israel, the people of the Lord. So I am willing to act like a fool in order to show my joy in the Lord. Yes, and I am willing to look even more foolish than this but I will be held in honor by the girls of whom you have spoken. So Michal, the daughter of Saul, remained childless throughout her life.